All right, good morning. Just uh, out here in Maryland, a little past Baltimore, heading towards Shenandoah. It seems there's been some exuberance coming back into certain altcoins, as, as you can call them. Um, you know, coins other than Bitcoin and you could argue Ethereum. Um, this is the dominance, the percent of Bitcoin dominance in the entire market cap of the digital asset space. And you can see we kind of have this falling wedge here and we wick down to the bottom of it. I had it drawn on the weekly, probably back here in December last year. And been kind of just extending the lines as it plays out, but we wick down, we got, you know, a lot of more dominance, a lot of more power flowing into Bitcoin. And we have had Bitcoin rally back up from its lows. Um, and we're getting resistance at the top of this channel. Uh, we almost hit that 42 but in seven hours when this closes if we hold above 40 percent uh, i'm thinking we we come back up maybe maybe even break this resistance and test this 42 percent if we come back down and while this happens like all coins have been pumping as bitcoin's losing dominance you know since a month ago a lot of altcoins have gained a lot of value um, we could see that lose if Bitcoin starts to, to recapture that market cap and dominance. And this doesn't mean that Bitcoin price is going to go up. It just means people are taking profits and putting it into Bitcoin. They're taking their altcoins. They're moving into Bitcoin because they're, they're, taking, their pro they're taking their profits. Smart money is taking their Bitcoin power, putting it into other technologies that are more speculative. They're growing it there, and then they're taking that power that they grew in the more speculative, risky assets and drump, drump, dumping it back into Bitcoin, growing their Bitcoin substantially. We might come and test back up to this 46 eventually. Um, at that point, it'll probably be a phenomenal opportunity to take your Bitcoin and then dump that into altcoins and then let the bull market begin and um, grow your Bitcoin faster in the altcoin. One thing you want to look at when you're looking at possible investments, and this is an interesting project. It's, um, it's aiming to be like the operating system for blockchains, like all of them interoperable, um, mainly for uh, enterprise banks and financial institutions and it, if it is for smaller people the, the privacy is mainly going to be for institutions I think not for individual actors on a smaller scale um, but what you want to look for also is like is it like during all this bear market you look at it, the dollar chart okay yeah it's it's looking strong but you look at the Bitcoin like it's making a new all-time high compared to Bitcoin during this bear market and that is so I think that's very powerful you know you can't beat them join them but it seems like they're pretty connected into uh, the UK that's where they're out of um, and they're they're working along with uh, it seems you know, with the development of CBDCs in the UK. And the UK, uh, if you haven't been following, the UK has, the Bank of England, I believe, had to bail out their pensions um, because the money's not really there. Even in America, like, they're only, like, 16% funded or something, um, depending on which ones. You know, it's not sustainable. You know, there's going to need to be, like, four workers for one retiree and... When there's not people don't want to work there's not enough um people going to work and providing that uh the funds so they're gonna have to get more risky and with the more risk to try to
get those yields, you know, they could also lose bigger and then go bust like they did in the UK recently. And so they really need to speed up their CBDC much more so than the U.S. because um, we're the world reserve currency. But I can't really find any competitors for them either. And another thing I like about it um, oh yeah, I don't care what these bots are saying here. Supply. 14,000. Like, that's not... Or 14 million. Uh, that's really nothing. Your Bitcoin's 21 million. You could argue it's only 14 million with all the ones lost um, in the early days. And, you know, people lose stuff today. I'm sure as well. But not quite as often. And at the scale it was because it was a lot cheaper. Um, it's interesting, but if you're going to invest in something, I think it's more powerful to look at something that's gaining value over Bitcoin. If it's not, then you might as well hold Bitcoin. So, hope everybody's doing well. Get outside, take care of yourselves, eat to live, uh, be good to people, and God bless.